with temperatures lingering right around freezing, it's a likely assumption that Bloomington parks go without visitors. But Parks and Recreation Assistant Manager Greg Boatman would disagree. The parks in Bloomington are the, one of the most active places year-round, especially in the winter. We've got our skating rinks, sledding hills, snowman making, all kinds of great winter activity going on here in Bloomington. One park sees just as much action, both two-legged and four-legged, during the winter months as it does in the spring and summer. And with use of Bloomington's off-leash dog recreation area increasing, the city's Parks and Recreation Division felt some much-needed improvements were due here. There are two major parts of the improvements out here to our off-leash area. The dogs are going to benefit from one of them greatly. Um, we're going to be putting in lighting in our parking lot. Um, and what's really cool about that is that it will provide opportunity for uh, safe entrance and exit for our, our patrons of the park, as well as uh, we're going to add some lighting that will be shining into the off-leash area here so that the users that would like to come out into the later parts of the evening uh, will also be able to see where they're going as they enter and exit our off-leash area. The best part, the most exciting part, is the one that has been requested for years is we're going to be able to bring water on site. Drinking water for both dogs and humans. There's a specially designed drinking fountain that'll have a human drinking fountain on top, a little dog bowl on the bottom, um, and then the cool part that we added to it was is that we're going to have a, a hose connected to it um, so that people who let their dogs run and get a little dirty when they're out here, maybe get a little wet from swimming in the pond, they'll be able to clean their dogs off before they go home. Frequent visitors to the off-leash dog area are thrilled. It'll be very nice to have some lighting in here in the evening. You can't believe how many dogs are out here during the week and on the weekends and everything. So it's great to have a place for our dogs to um, be able to run and play and not be leashed up. Other park improvement projects will be underway in the coming months as well, including new playground equipment at Southwood Park, fall ball netting at Dred Scott ball fields and at Maplewood Park. It's, that's going to see the largest facelift of any of our parks this year. Um, they'll be tearing down the old uh, warming house building there, constructing a new gazebo, constructing some off-street parking. So we'll have actually have a parking lot there at Maplewood Park and new playground container uh, and new playground equipment as well as some new trails that are going through the park. So it's really, really exciting. And remember, parks are maintained and ready for use year-round. So get outside and enjoy them.